Welcome back, Seth Bling here. In front of me, I've got a block dispenser. It dispenses blocks. In this case, the block is TNT. And this one is infinitely expandable. You can have as many blocks as you want in the dispenser, and it will keep providing until it runs out. So let me show you. When I push the button, it pushes the TNT into place, and then the TNT gets ignited and it drops down. Uh, if you watch again, when I push the button, uh, this and sort of snake the TNT around so that it, it, it pushes it so that we keep getting a supply of TNT. And what allows us to do that is that there's gravel over here that keeps getting pushed into place uh, every time that I push the button. So it kind of fills in the, the snake so that there's always something for each piston to push. So the, the, the thing that makes this infinitely expandable is that um, you could use a single column of gravel, but that would only allow you to have 128 or a little bit less than that uh, maximum blocks in the dispenser because once the single pile runs out, uh, you'd, be, you'd be screwed. So what I've got here is um, several different piles, and basically every time one pile runs out um, or is about to run out, so for instance, uh, well, okay, so when I push the button, it, it activates this monostable circuit, um, which just sends a pulse to all of the pistons that are here, and it also triggers all of the pistons in the snake. But it'll, it'll trigger them all simultaneously, so if I push one more time, it'll use up another gravel from this pile. <coughs> but now each time that I push the button, it's going to trigger this piston also, which is going to have it push all the blocks so that this pile won't run out until this pile is run out. Uh, and then after this pile is run out, uh, this will get one lower and, and this piston will start pushing. So now, notice that they're all equal height when I push the button. Um, a gravel gets pushed into place in here, but then a gravel also gets taken from this pile to refill this pile. So. So, so basically, as, as long as there's still gravel left in any of these piles, it'll still be able to sneak through and provide uh, additional TNT to us. Um, so you could use this for a, for a cannon or something, and just, because it's kind of a pain to have to reload this every, you know, every couple times that you use it. So it's kind of a neat way to just have a one-time setup where you can have hundreds or thousands of... Um, of firings of a TNT cannon. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.